लॉस्ट इन लेक डिस्ट्रिक्ट माई रिवेंज ट्रेवल ब्लॉग पार्ट टू हाई गाइज दिस इज ओशी एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माई चैनल मैक्रो मीडिया थैंक यू फॉर ऑल द लव यू शोन माई रिवेंज ट्रेवल ब्लॉग ऑन मैनचेस्टर एज प्रोमिस्ड आई एम बैक विद द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ माई रिवेंज ट्रेवल ब्लॉग सो लेट्स टेक ऑफ टू द पैराडाइज ऑफ लेक डिस्ट्रिक्ट If you have followed my last week's vlog on Manchester, you'd know that we were living in Armston with our doctor relatives, Uncle Shekhar and Aunt Bithi. So, after exploring Manchester for a couple of days, our next agenda was to visit the beautiful Lake District. In the morning, we had a quick oatmeal breakfast along with English tea and scrambled eggs. The plan was to get out of the house as soon as we could so that we could fully utilize our day at Lake District. We reached the Manchester Airport bus station to start our package tour to Lake District. Expansive and filled with all kinds of food and amenities, every shop was calling out to the hungry Bengalis. Cold cut sandwiches, yogurt parfait, acai bowls, cold beverages, coffee and cakes, salads and fresh fruit platters. Laden with food, we somehow hauled ourselves into the bus and geared up for the first exciting stop, Castle Riggs. Was this a dream or a breathtaking Vincent Van Gogh painting with fluffy white clouds accessorizing the blue sky, vibrant shades of greens and yellows dressing up the meadows and the mighty mountains gracing our presence from a distance. The air was so fresh, the colors of nature so vibrant. We felt like new tourists in heaven. Our next stop was Yummy Yummy Cumberland. We took the route through Lancaster with enchanting views of Yorkshire to our right and the Irish Sea to our left. So an otherwise tiring bus journey became eye-popping with magnificent views all around. We reached Cumberland and tried that world-famous Cumberland sausage. I am salivating even today as I think of that sinful fat melt in the mouth sausage. A short walk from Cumberland led us to the Wordsworth's Daffodil Gardens in Grasmere. I had of course seen flowers in a variety of colors but not tree leaves. The Daffodil Garden is a pretty pretty garden adjacent to the parish St Oswald's churchyard on the grounds of which William Wordsworth is buried. His famous poem The Daffodils is engraved on his memorial grave. For oft when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of solitude and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils our eyes were blessed to see a host of beautiful daffodils violets snowdrops and celandines swaying in the garden The flagstone walkway that leads to the garden had inscriptions of the names of people who've donated to Wordsworth's garden. <laughs> hey, what's that smell? My bong nose has smelled gingerbread. Joining the long queue, I bought Sarah Nelson's famous Grasmere gingerbread, a unique spicy sweet cross between a biscuit and a cake. Now we were heading to the Lake District National Forest. Dad insisted me to carry my denim jacket but I was in the mood for being stubborn little did i realize then that i had to bow down to the even more resolute cold weather of the lake district finally when the shawl did not suffice dad had to take off his jacket and give it to me along with his seasonal scoldings after all this family drama we reached the bonus pier for our cruise trip on windermere lake Without an iota of doubt, I can say that the moments I spent on the cruise were some of the most memorable moments of my life. No wonder places like these create poets like Wordsworth. The ferry ride offered wonderful scenic beauty of crystal clear blue water, the surrounding green hills, numerous white boats floating on the Windermere Lake. and beautiful sunshine embracing our happy faces the highlight of the ferry ride was the friendship i struck with my four legged pals who were on board with me my attention was split between admiring the unusual scenic beauty around and warming up to the affectionate display by my furry friend it's like both of us vibed instantly and shared a special connection that was inexplicable 
I felt the English owner becoming insecure of our growing bond. So, I had to befriend the owner as well to spend more time with my newfound friends. Before I realized it, the cruise trip was over and I was heartbroken to head back to Manchester without my four-legged friends. <laughs> Boy, why don't I miss my humans as much? I wondered. The next morning, we were ready to head for Edinburgh by train, leaving behind all the memorable times spent in Snowdonia, the Lake District, Old Trafford. But the warm hospitality shown to us by our Indian uncle and aunt is what will remain with me the most. The Indian hospitality and the bonding between Indian families is what makes me really proud about being an Indian. So guys, if you liked my not so short but sweet travel vlog on Lake District, then please like this video, share it with your friends, comment down below and do not forget to subscribe to Macron Media. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Take care.